That's me, Lance. I tie flies and am the creator of this channel. Today I'm tying a balanced leech, an effective pattern that swims almost horizontal when set up under an indicator. If you like to fish and tie leech patterns, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new content. That's me, and this is my vice. Place a size 8 mustad 32833BLN jig hook into his jaws, and measure a straight pin about a shank long from the flat end. Then using a pair of wire cutters, cut the straight pin at the measured point. After the pin has been cut, place a 1 8 inch bead onto the pin, large hole first. Now that the bead has been placed on the pin, start a bobbin of 6 aught olive unithread on the shank. Once the thread is secured, cut the tag from the fly. Take the beaded pin and hold it to the top of the shank so the bead is at the front, and there are about 2.5 bead lengths between the bead and the hook. And tie the pin to the shank with tight wraps of thread. When the pin is secured to the shank, cut a couple inches of .025 lead wire from the spool, and wrap 4 wraps of lead wire on the pin between the hook and the bead. Use a pair of old dull scissors that you don't particularly care about to cut the tag ends of the lead wire. Then push the lead wire up against the bead and wrap the thread around the shank to the lead wire. Once the thread reaches the lead wire, lightly wrap the thread to behind the bead. Then pinch and push the lead wire against the bead while the thread is wrapped over the lead. When the lead has been covered with thread, wrap the thread down the shank to just before the bend of the hook. Now take a bit of Bronze Peacock Arizona Semi Seal Dubbing from a bag. Then take the fibers that were pulled from the bag and pull the fibers apart. Line the tips up and stack the bundles together. After the fibers have been somewhat aligned, Measure the dubbing bundle to a shank long. At the measured point on the dubbing bundle, secure the dubbing to the shank, creating a tail for the fly. Then fold the dubbing fibers that are laying over the top of the fly towards the back and wrap thread around the dubbing and shank. Once the tail has been completed, place the tip of some brassy hot orange ultra wire against the shank and lash it down with some tight wraps of thread. When the ultra wire is secured to the shank, make sure the thread is hanging at the tie in point of the tail, and then pull down on the bobbin exposing 6 to 8 inches of thread. Then pinch the thread with your material hand where the thread is exiting the bobbin. And keeping the thread between the vise and your hand tight, take the bobbin back to the fly, allowing thread to unwind from the spool. Bring the bobbin over the fly, and then wrap the two strands of thread together with a couple wraps of thread. Then wrap the thread to the front of the fly, and whip finish and cut the thread. Next, use a dubbing twister of some sort to hook the loop at its bottom. From a package of dubbing, take a clump of dubbing, spread it in your fingers and try to even the tips. Once the clump has been evened and spread apart, place the dubbing into the thread loop and then slide it to the top of the loop. Do this again with another clump of dubbing, but only slide the clump to where the previous clump ends in the loop. When the loop is full, spin the dubbing twister until a tight brush of dubbing has been created. And use Velcro to brush the dubbing brush out. Keeping the dubbing brush taunt, wrap the dubbing brush around the shank with budding wraps.
Once the brush reaches the bead, let the dubbing spinner hang from the fly and start some UTC 140 in fluorescent orange behind the bead. After the tag of thread has been removed from the fly, tie off the dubbing brush with a couple tight wraps of thread, and then without cutting the thread, cut the excess dubbing away from the fly. Now throw a half hitch into the thread and onto the hook. Then place the bobbin into the bobbin cradle and begin wrapping the ultra wire up the shank with 8 to 10 evenly spaced wraps of ribbing. Tie off the ribbing with thread, then pull down on the bobbin and helicopter the wire until it breaks from the fly. Using a bodkin, apply a bit of head cement to the thread below the fly and complete two three turn whip finishes to the fly, then cut the thread. Now use some velcro to work the dubbing fibers from the ribbing and the thread and to brush the fibers back on the fly. This is a balanced leech. The balanced leech is a pattern that belongs in any fly box. It's a super effective pattern, pretty simple to tie, and fish love them. So go get yourself some straight pins and dubbing to tie up a few dozen of these awesome patterns. If you enjoyed watching me tie the balanced leech, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and then check out some other tying demonstrations I have done by clicking the tying demos playlist to the top right of the screen. Or if you want to see other patterns that might represent leeches, check out my leeches playlist below that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to like Fishbaits Flybox on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Now, go feed your vice.